Welcome to Jewelry Journeys. Remember to support our channel. Please subscribe. The royal family of Greece owns two remarkable perures, emerald and ruby. Both are associated with the first queen of the Glucksburg dynasty, Olga, born Grand Duchess of Russia. In this video, I want to elaborate on the ruby tiara. The first owner of the perure was Queen Olga Konstantinovna. However, it is difficult to establish the date of creation of the jewelry and the master, as well as how the jewelry got to the queen. Whether they were a gift or ordered by the queen remains a mystery. There are two versions of the origin of the jewelry. According to the first, the perure was a wedding gift to Grand Duchess Olga Konstantinovna. Knowing the wealth and generosity of the imperial family, one can easily agree with this. According to the second, more romantic legend, Every year, King George I gave his wife a ruby. They were married for a total of 45 years. So there must have been 45 rubies. All the rubies in the perure, consisting of a tiara in the form of a wreath of laurel leaves with small ruby berries, earrings, necklace, brooch, and corsage jewelry, are quite large. So they could indeed have been gifts from the king. In support of this theory is the fact that there is no photo of the younger Queen Olga in this perure or parts of it. There is a 1915 portrait by the Greek portraitist Georgios Aekavidis. True, and on it the queen is wearing an incomplete version of the perura, a tiara, a shortened version of the necklace. Perhaps the queen preferred to wear it in this way. But even after Queen Olga's death in 1926, it is difficult to trace the fate of the necklace. Or rather, it is difficult to establish its next owner. Someone calls the queen's son, Prince Nicholas, married to the Grand Duchess Alina Vladimirovna. Someone, their daughter Olga, sister of Princess Marina, Duchess of Kent, most likely to bequeath such magnificent jewelry to her granddaughter. By passing her son, the queen would not. Probably, Nikolai inherited the perura, and his daughter Olga simply wore the jewelry which belonged first to her father and then to her mother. As in the Greek royal family, very often after the death of a husband, the jewelry was inherited by his wife. This is probably why, apart from Olga, Princess Marina was also seen wearing this perura, or rather parts of it, in 1937 at the first opening of the parliamentary sessions by King George VI. It was mostly worn by the eldest daughter of Prince Nicholas, Princess Olga of Yugoslavia. She needed the resplendent jewelry as the wife of the regent, who was her husband, Prince Paul. The last time Princess Olga wore this jewelry was in 1955 at the marriage of her eldest son Alexander to Princess Maria Pia, daughter of the former King Umberto II of Italy. Already in 1956, Queen Frederica of Greece wore this perura during her visit to Germany, which suggests that Princess Alina sold the jewelry to the Queen of Greece or her husband. Thus, the perura returned to the ruling family of Greece. Queen Frederica wore this perura very often. In 1964, Queen Olga's ruby perura was a wedding gift from Queen Frederica to the bride of her son, King Constantine II, Princess Anne-Marie of Denmark. Anne-Marie first shone in this perura during the pre-wedding celebrations in Athens. The Greek queen has grown to love this jewelry and she appears in it quite often. At the moment, she favors a shorter version of the necklace. I think that Greek ruby perure is interesting not only for its unusual design, but also for the history that is associated with them. Thank you for watching and to support, please subscribe to Jewelry Journeys. Thank you.